Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today I'm here to bring a lot of hidden gems of CES. Now CES is a big convention, and we hear about the big companies, Samsung, LG, a lot of the top ones, but there are a lot of companies that bring some amazing products to the market, or introduce amazing products that are going to come to the market in 2019, and these are the hidden gems that I have found in CES 2019. 15 of them to be exact, so let's go through them. Our first one is going to be Gunner Glasses. Now, I'm a big fan of Gunner Glasses as I've used them in the past and still use them on a day-to-day -day basis, especially at nighttime when my eyes get tired. They block out the bad stuff that hits your eyes, and it kind of showed me how my clear ones are compared to the darker yellow ones, really kind of seeing the difference of the strength, and they showed off some new glasses like the Torpedoes. We are going to be reviewing some sunglasses and regular glasses of theirs, so I'll really test them out to see how well they do on a day-to-day -day basis, and if my eyes are less strained after looking at the computer for eight plus hours a day. And then we also have a really cool projector from Canon. This is the Rayo S1, and it really is a cool projector. It has Android built in it. It's coming around $260 in May of 2019. And this is just a really, really good looking portable pocket projector, but it has DLP quality for under $300. That is really important. Now they are gearing this more towards the business side. So if you wanna do like a PowerPoint presentation on the go or even demo a quick video or document, but I'm really kind of curious to see how good this can be on the go, maybe watching a movie or also, of course, doing the presentations that it's intended for. Really curious to see how this is and hopefully we'll get to check it out later this year when it comes out. The Sphero Spectrums. This is a really cool concept for kids. It basically runs at $65, so fairly inexpensive uh, for a smart electronic for kids. And I like this. It will make a different sound depending on what color you hit. And it's a really cool interactive thing that I really liked. I saw some cool demonstrations of it and I would definitely get this for my daughter and again really cool I think thing for kids again coming out later this month actually so it should be out soon the Alcatel 1x smartphone now this is a new 1x from Alcatel really the big thing about this is it has a 3000 milliamp battery 2 gigs of RAM 13 megapixel 5.5 720p display so pretty mid-range specs but it has this really cool feature for one-handed camera usability that I fell in love with and I really want to test this phone when it comes out just for this feature alone it's a really cool feature definitely think more smartphones should have features like this. The HP Omen Imperium 65 inch TV. Now this is a real game changer, quite literally, because it is for gaming. And this TV is going to be a very high-end TV, definitely priced that way, but it's all about 4K, 120 hertz display, a thousand nits of brightness for true HDR, low latency, and an Nvidia Shield built in. So you have Android TV kind of high-end specs for gaming. And really this whole thing is that you can game on your TV and it really is going to be amazing for any console, for any computer, for anything you have, this is a gaming TV. I would say this is more for esports enthusiasts, but it's really good all around and it looked amazing playing a game from a high-end PC onto this. Then we have Lifex. And Lifex is a smart lighting company that really showed off some cool updates coming to their existing technology and also their new technology. So they have some really cool new things. Uh, one thing, the panels are going to have the touch functionality soon. So I really like that the new touch controls can really make it a kind of cool effect. And I love their new fire effect. And this is also gonna be coming to their candelabra bulbs. And this is really cool because you can actually customize how the colors are, or you can have this really cool fire effect that I just think looked absolutely amazing. I definitely wanna test these out when they come. They are a little bit on the expensive side, but with LifeX, I do feel you get really good quality. And in my opinion, better quality than Philips Hue. All right, then we have Panasonic, and you have the two S-series full-frame cameras, and these are some really 
big time cameras that are coming out later this year. You have the S1R with 47 megapixels and you have the S1 with 21 megapixels. They're both coming out in March. Panasonic is really keeping these close to the vest though. Not too much information about these yet. Although we do know it will record at 4K at 60 FPS, which is what I want. And it has a full frame sensor to work with lots of different lenses from Leica and other companies. So it really is something that I'm looking forward to testing out. This would be a huge upgrade for me in terms of camera. It makes me debate if I want to get wait for a GH6 or just jump on these. So very curious to see how this comes out when it comes out in March. Jabra are the best headphones I have found when it comes to in-ear and around the neck, but they have some over-ear headphones. These are the 85H headphones. 32 hours of battery life with active noise cancellation, which is very rare to have it that high and that far. This is going to have eight mics built in, which two mics are actually made for calls. This is what I like about Jabra. They have the best call quality almost in all Bluetooth headphones. Not only that, but it's gonna be $300, so good Good competitive price point and it's going to be coming out in April. I need to get them as soon as possible. And we also have something from Pioneer. Pioneer has a new deck called the SPH10BT, which is a smaller size deck. It's coming out next month in February for $150 and it's a really cool app interface. Basically, instead of making a big screen deck, some people don't have room for that in their car. So this is small one dim connect that you basically just have a actual phone holder come out and you can use it and it goes back in as well. So it's a really great thing. It changes the interface of your phone so that it looks just like a high end pioneer thing. But at $150, this brings a lot to a low price point that I think a lot of people could benefit from. One Link is coming out with something really incredible. Now they're most known for smoke detectors, security, but they have come up with a really cool design and that is a mesh smoke detector system, which is also a Wi-Fi mesh system. So think about it. You already want to get these smart home detectors in your home for smoke and all these different things, but now they're also doing double duty as your Wi-Fi mesh routers because why not? Then you don't have to even have mesh routers in different places. So I have one in my living room, I have one in my kitchen, and I have one in our upstairs master bathroom. And just so we have Wi-Fi throughout the house, but I have smoke detectors all throughout the house, so why wouldn't I just use these? I think this is an ingenious idea, and I definitely think this is something we're gonna take a look at when it comes out later this year. Creative, now you might not have heard of Creative, but I have been a long time fan of them. I preferred their MP3 players to iPods back in the day, and they are always creating the greatest sound quality you can get out of a computer and lots of other products. Now they have an SX5 amp, which is $150 and it creates a true surround sound quality. I swear, it makes it feel like if you're listening to music in there, you're with an artist. If you're watching a movie trailer, it looks like you're in, it feels like you're in a movie theater. I was a skeptic about this, but definitely when they said this will be one of the most impressive things you'd see at CES, they were not lying. This is really good. We will come out with a review later on in the month for this, but definitely something to take a look at because it sounds amazing. They have some other things they announced too and we'll try to get our hands on those as well to share them with you guys. Swidget, definitely a new and upcoming startup that had just an ingenious idea. Make all of your outlets in your house modular. So basically, instead of just having a regular outlet, this outlets cost 40 bucks and then you have these modular things that you can put inside and activate from a USB plug to a spy camera, to a nightlight, to a Wi-Fi adapter, to a Z-Wave adapter. So all of these different things can operate and they range from $6 to $42. They're coming out in March of 2019, the majority of them. And really, this is just a really good design. Z-Wave works with Samsung smart things. It's far cheaper than having a Wi-Fi system. But if you do want to have a Wi-Fi system that automatically will work with Google Assistant instead of going through if this, then that, then you can definitely do that. And it works with Alexa and Google. Really cool concept. I love it. Definitely something that I could see when we do our tech out the house when we move, this will easily be one of the things that we put in every room because why not? It's a far cheaper than most other solutions. TP-Link has come out with my favorite light switch ever. They are coming out with the light switch that will possibly be the first half of 2019. And this is all about having a smart speaker with the night light built into your smart switch. So basically this is just a light switch they will have a speaker built into it so you can use it with either Google Assistant or Alexa. They have not said which this will use, which is kind of frustrating. I hope it's Google Assistant because with an intercom system that Google has, 
it would really be perfect to have those throughout my house just so I can basically always use an intercom system and everyone can hear it in the house. It's a really great idea and something I definitely love the idea of and I cannot wait till it comes out later this year. All right, a true hidden gem is a headphone company that I was very impressed with. It's called Clear, spelled C-L-E-E-R, and really they have some high-end impressive sound quality in terms of their speakers, in terms of their headphones, and they had an in-ear one called the Ally Plus, which has 20 hours for true wireless headphones. I've never seen that before. Over your Flow Bluetooth headphones, which have 100 hours of just, again, amazing battery life. Halo Next Speaker, which has a 12-hour battery life, but this one really impressed me for the style, the look of it, the fact that it has Google Assistant built in, and it just really is impressive how a person that's sitting right next to you could almost not hear the music at all. This has been way better than the Bose or any other one that I've looked at and tested. This is one that I think is the true next speaker to get. All of these are coming out later this year and we hope to get the review units for them because they look amazing and definitely have amazing potential. And finally, the top hidden gem is going to be the first 5G router. Everyone is talking about getting 5G this year and D-Link has the first 5G router Really impressive to see. It's supposed to come out the second half of 2019. It will have SIM cards from specific carriers, whoever they end up working with. But this is something that obviously is going to be big because it's going to be in everyone's home eventually. Maybe not in 2019, but this is the first 5G router that everyone should be taking a look at because it's the first one coming out. All right, guys, those were the hidden gems. Which one are you most excited or most interested for us to review here on the channel? Let me know in the comment section down below and I will make sure to reach out to them. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're going to find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.